الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة على المصطفى وعلى آله وصحبته ومن اهتدى بهديه إلى يوم الدين Dear ones, in this world, there are levels. So I was traveling from Perth to here. I went to get on the aeroplane. Um, there's the economy seats that the bulk of us go sit on. It's a level. Ahead of the economy seats is the business seats. It's a level. You drive a car, you have a Suzuki, you look over and there's a Corolla next to you, it's a level. And you look a bit further and there's a Merc next to you, it's, it's a level. And um, if you look online, you'll find the Rolls Royce, that's also a level. So these are levels of this dunya. And Allah Rabbul Izzah says, Unzur kayfa faddalna Look at how I rose some over others, how I honored some over others, how I blessed some over others. Levels. One person, I was in my hotel just um, before here. There are levels. After a certain level, it's called club level. You get the normal room size, and then they get a deluxe size and then you get a suite and then you get a presidential suite uh, levels so these are the levels of the dunya and Allah Rabbul Izzah says tafdila. the akhirah bigger levels and bigger stations of honor I, I, I want to show you some so in the akhirah in the meeting of your Lord after everything is finished and you've gone to Jannah, where you meet Allah Rabbul Izzah, their seats will be prepared, stations for you to sit on. The highest level is a seat of light. Al Mutahabuna bi Jalali lahum manabiru min nur. They will sit. On members, stations, thrones of light. Don't misunderstand. It's not like this where light shines under it. They will sit on light. Light will hold them. Then there will be people who are sitting on thrones of pearls. Like a throne will be made of a shiny pearl, then on gold, then on silver. The lowest level, المسك, the lowest level will sit on cushions of misk. Levels, dear ones. Misk, just so you know, I was overseas in Malaysia. A person brought it for me. Uh, 10 milligrams, $3,000. Lowest level of seating in the on cushions of misk. Levels, dear ones. Uh, the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu says, for the reciter of the Quran and the memorizer of the Quran, Allah Rabbul Izza will say, read and rise. Levels, you'll go up in levels. Where the recitation stops, the lift stops. So, my dear brothers and sisters, Levels are gained and levels are lost. I will give you an example. One of the sheikhs walked out of the masjid or walked into the masjid. Either which one. And there was an ordinary layman at the door and the man insulted the sheikh. So the sheikh, alim, rabbani, muaddab, said Jazakallah you know hard to do Habibi like someone comes and insults you Jazakallah is the last thing that comes in mind there's a few other stand up, you know, steps before Jazakallah like a black eye but the Sheikh Mu'addab Murabbi said Jazakallah and then he walks home but the heart hasn't forgiven. He said, Jazakallah. 
but the heart is struggling with it. When he reached home, he forgave the man. By the time he reached home, the distance, he forgave the man. Then he regretted it. He said, how many levels did I lose in this distance? Had I had been the one to forgive him at the door, what maqam would Allah have given me? And now that I have traversed all these steps, how many levels did I lose? Every opportunity that comes is a level up or a level not up or a level down. And I will give dalil because Ahlul Ilm are sitting here and then they will say, what is the dalil? So, khudh dalil. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, listen, listen dear ones. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent 3,000 men to Mu'ta, the famous battle towards Jordan. 3,000 men marched. These were his instructions. Zayd ibn Haritha will be your leader. The standard will be with him. When Zayd falls, if Zayd falls, the standard will go to Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. If Ja'far falls, the standard goes to Abdullah ibn Rawaha. If Abdullah falls, choose a leader from amidst you. So the men march, long march from Medina to Jordan. When they arrived, Ah, Sahabi. They looked. Al Waqidi says a hundred thousand soldiers had come against them. Ibn Ishaq says two hundred thousand men had come against them. Irrespective, call it fifteen thousand, call it fifty thousand against three thousand, immense odds. Yet these are companions of the Rasul, they don't know how to buck. So the confrontation started. Zayd ibn Haritha takes the standard, gallantly marches, and a miracle happens. The Rasul is in Medina, sitting amidst the companions, and Allah opens it for him. So whilst in Medina, he is watching the battle or the campaign of Mu'ta. And he starts to narrate to the companions. Zayd ibn Haritha went into battle. Fought gallantly. Zayd fell. Allahu Akbar. Zayd entered Jannah. Ja'far. Ja'far comes. Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. Three, the leader of 3,000 against 50,000. A hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, irrespective. Against a huge number. This is his words. Gallant, warrior, family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came in. They cut his hand that's holding the standard. He held it with the next one. They cut his other hand. He held it with his elbows. They stabbed him through. And the Rasul says, they cut his hand. Now they cut his other hand. Now they stabbed him. Ja'far fell. Ja'far died. Allahu Akbar. Allah has given him the wings of angels. Ja'far enters Jannah. Abdullah ibn Rawah had the third of the captains. They say he was fasting. So someone has given him a piece of meat to eat. So he's eating in preparation that I'm taking a break and coming in. So they run to him. Ibn Rawaha, he is the standard. Listen, for a second, because the odds are huge. For a second he tarried. For a second he was finding his bearings. How does a heart face a hundred thousand with three with three thousand? Then he checks himself. He says, "Ya nafsu malaki takrahin al maut illa tuqtali tamuti hada hiyad al maut qad saliti wa ma tamanniti fakad laqiti." 
or, or, not, or Saul, why are you afraid of dying? If you're not killed, you'll die anyway. So this is what you wished for. Go. So he took it and went. So the Prophet says, Abdullah ibn Rawaha took the standard. Abdullah tarried. Abdullah went in. Abdullah fell. Allahu Akbar. Abdullah entered Jannah. But his level is below the level of the other two. Do you see? A level lost or levels lost for a moment of tarrying. So dear ones, in front of you is a chance. Some of you will tarry. فَمِنْكُمْ مَنْ يَبْخَلْ وَمَنْ يَبْخَلْ فَإِنَّمَا يَبْخَلُ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ Some of you will go stingy. Some of you will go tight. Some of you will calculate. Some of you will give. Give and Allah will give. No one has given to Allah except that Allah has given at the least ten times more. And that is our thiqa in our Lord. Dear ones, I came from a city. I went to a masjid. I looked at the placard, the masjid was built in 1901. 1901, it is 2023, so 123 years people have been praying. For 123 years, the salat has been going to their accounts. To the accounts of those that built it, those that put a brick, those that brought a bit of sand, those that gave some money, those that painted, those that stood, those that cried, those that went to collect money. And the hadith you may heard tonight, whoever encourages towards khair, it is as though he has done it. Allah is not stingy, Allah is kind, dear ones. So inshallah, in your little dollars that you spent, I and my attendance and inshallah in what Allah will help me to spend. Inshallah this place will build and it is a waqf and it is already built walillahi alhamd. And people will come and generations will come and go and me and you will be in our graves. And every day you will look and click, 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 click click hasanat will come prayers will come ibadat will come when you are in need and die and die a need in the akhirah maybe this will be the cause of flipping your scales allah give you goodness for your patience i thank you wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh